tu vois, le secteur attaque comme de trois nouveaux recrues qui sont là. En l'occurrence, mon bang a prend ma grille et tout. Voilà. Dans la foule, les familles de quelques footballeurs étaient présentes et ont pris leur place pour la rencontre de ce vendredi. J'ai eu déjà à son arrivée hier à l'aéroport, j'ai eu la chair de poule. Parce que cette effervescence là, euh, on a souvent l'habitude de voir chez les autres. Aujourd'hui donc, quand il est sorti avec les lions indomptables et André Onana, qu'on voit souvent à la télé, je vois aussi mon fils parmi eux, vraiment c'est une joie énorme. Je pense que c'est une très bonne chance d'avoir un enfant qui peut jouer pour le pays, qui prend le drapeau sur lui. Après cette séance d'entraînement, les lions indomptables sont retournés à leur base. Et la suite du programme est prévue pour demain pour une autre séance d'entraînement, mais cette fois fermée au public du côté du stade de, de Japoma. Devant la caméra de Luciano Doudou je suis Wilfred Gomse au Canal International. And for the first time in three years, well, 16 players are right here, while the others who joined the sport a few hours ago have been left back at the hotel to recover from flight fatigue. The public and media are right here equally in their numbers to cheer up the boys and commune with their team in this very relaxed, convivial and lively atmosphere. Simon, the people are happy to see their team, and the boys have been responding with such loyalty, waving back at the crowd with broad smiles. The hilarious fans know the players each by name, including the newcomers, and have been very generous with their cheers. Two players, Dalen Yongwa and Junior Chamadeu, will be speaking to the media in the moments ahead. The team's media says the sport will be complete this evening with the arrival of Jean Eric Musu of Cotton Sport of Garwa, Christopher Wu, Frank Zambuangisa, Jean Shah Castelletto, and Frank Atsama of Bamboo Tuception Buddha, who received a last minute call up earlier in the afternoon. The centre back replaces Harold Mukudi, who recently sustained an injury. For now, Simon, it is light warm up with the ball. Please, under the supervision of head coach Rigobert Songbahanak, Luke Nama, Edouard Penda, Anna Dolores Ewande, and Rene Kache from the Batamo Sports Stadium. To note that the match on Friday will begin at 8 p.m. Still on Friday, the under-20 women's team will play at the Nyayo Stadium in Nairobi against Kenya in their second leg third round qualifiers for the 2024 FIFA Women's Under-20 World Cup. The girls have just completed their first training session on Kenyan soil. Cameroon won the first leg game in Yaoundé by three goals to zero. The winners will take on the winners of the game, Egypt versus Congo, in their fourth and last round of the qualifiers. The two teams drew one all in the first leg game. In in Brazzaville. We remain in football this time the MTN Elite One Championship to know that Egle Royal of the Menuam, Apeges on Fu and UMS of Loom are still to win even a single game since the start of the 2023-2024 championship. They occupy the bottom positions of the two pools after matches for the seventh day of play over the weekend. Harrison Ashul zooms on these two teams. A total of 128 goals have been scored since the start of the 2023-2024 season of the Elite One Football Championship. Dinamo of Douala is on the top of Pool A with 14 points, one point ahead of Bambutus of Buda, who is ahead of them on goal difference. They are followed by Union of Douala and Gazelle Efe, who each have 10 points. In a danger zone, struggling column of Jan and IS Fortuna are leading with 7 points each. Egle Royal of the Menua who is yet to win a match this season, occupies the last position on the table with three points. In the meantime, Star Renard remains unbeaten this season, leading Pool B with 16 points. The Melon Club has the best defense in the competition, conceding just one goal in six outings. They are followed by Cotton Sport of Gara with 11 points. With five points, Fovazu is amongst the top three clubs in the danger zone. They have one point ahead of Apeges of Mfu and UMS of Loom, who are still looking for a first win in the campaign. Harrison Ashu, handball is also part of uh, the menu as uh, the women's national team begins uh, 
finalizing preparations for the World Championship later this year. The team is in Paris where they will finalize preparations in a three-nation tournament. They take on Senegal on the 24th and Sweden on the 26th before flying to Helsingborg where they will be based during the World Championship. One of the players in camp, Mabeng Beatrice, now updates us on their preparations. I'm happy because there's that team spirit. There's nothing like we are the elders in this group. We have been here for long. You people just came here and said, no, everybody is like one. There's that, there's that love for one another. The spirit is there. The spirit of oneness, the spirit of a team is there. So for the work, the, coach, the coaches are really doing their best to give us what we need. We are going to challenge them with what we have. We know, it's, in fact, it's a competition. It's a competition. We cannot say no, they are, they are no. All is, it will be played on the field. That was Mabeng Beatrice of uh, the Cameroon National Women's Handball Team. To note that Cameroon will play in Group 3 alongside Montenegro, Hungary and Paraguay. The competition that will be played in Sweden, Denmark and Norway will run from the 29th of November to the 17th of December this year. Senior reporter Simon Leonga, thank you very much for that sports pack. <laughs> afin que celui-ci franchisse la ligne en premier. L'AC va très vite entraîner des échecs fourrés entre les deux clubs. Après conciliation des deux camps, la rencontre va débuter au bout d'une quinzaine de minutes de retard. Un véritable mystère qui a sémi la confusion parmi les supporters et les observateurs. Toujours lors de la septième journée du championnat et l'étoile, Victoria United recevait UMS Zoulou au centenariste du de Mindy. Étrange, les deux équipes ont commencé volontairement le match à 10 contre 10. C'est vers la 15e minute que les deux joueurs manquants sont entrés pour compléter chacun des effectifs à 11. Des indiscrétions expliquent que les deux clubs respectaient des consignes mystiques. Par ailleurs, un autre fait curieux est survenu lors d'une rencontre du championnat Elitou, opposant l'aigle royal du Mungo au Racing Club de Bafoussam, samedi au stade Annex 1 de Japoma à Douala. L'équipe du Mungo a évolué avec 12 joueurs sur le terrain pendant plusieurs minutes de jeu. La cause, un remplacement mal exécuté par le quatrième arbitre au cours duquel trois joueurs de l'aigle royal du Mungo sont entrés, mais seuls deux joueurs sont sortis et le troisième remplacé n'a pas quitté la pelouse. Une erreur qui a entraîné une réserve. Après une interruption de quelques minutes, l'arbitre a donné un carton rouge aux joueurs de l'aigle en sunant pour rééquilibrer le jeu. Des incidents qui mettent en lumière les défis auxquels est confronté le football camerounais. Les acteurs appellent à des mesures fortes afin de redonner au football camerounais toute sa grandeur.